Christina. I'm so glad to be back here at Charlie's Pasture for the city of Port Aransas. We're gonna do some yoga today. Some nice, relaxing yin yoga, which doesn't totally make sense, but here's what's going on. So, a yin yoga is generally poses held a little longer so that you're activating that body, you're using those muscles, so it's more of an exercise. But today, because it's my birthday, we're gonna do a very relaxing yin yoga. So it's gonna be more stretching, more stretching. We'll hold the poses a little longer. We will do some where we're activating those muscles, but remember, your safety is in your hands. So please, if you are done in a pose, come out of it. Relax, find a great relaxing position until you can join us again. So real quick, grab some bolsters if you have them. Here's mine. And, or pillows will work, blankets, towels rolled up long ways. Whatever you have is fabulous. We're just gonna have a little extra support today in our stretches if you need. If you don't, that's great, that's fabulous. So while you're getting ready, getting your mat out, making sure you have ample space, I wanted to remind y'all to shop local. We have, uh, I have, I'm wearing one of my favorite shirts. It's our Mermaid Tribe. We got that at the Third Coast Shack. And it's just this fabulous group of boss ladies running their businesses, trying to make a difference, building each other up, being positive, influences, helping each other, being a community together. And it's so fabulous. So on that note, I wanted to remind you all that Karen Decker's gym, she has people that do yoga there too. So if you wanna go do a class live, I believe it's probably limited still, but you just give her a call, go check out the gym, find some people here doing what you wanna do. It's a great community. I got this shirt at the Third Coast Shack. I got my Save the Turtles anklet at the Board house, of course. We got Loki skateboard there. Fabulous shop. I got my favorite beach blanket there. It's so awesome, made from recycled materials. And then I have some Tula that I got, of course, at Bo John's, my favorite place, where I got my favorite yellow dress that I'm gonna wear for my birthday dinner tonight. Of talking. Hopefully you're with me now, ready to relax. So let's find a nice, comfortable, seated position. If this is not comfortable for you, remember you can put a block under your bum to raise your hips above your knees, that helps, or extend your legs out, or just lay down on your back. Find a Shavasana, nice, comfortable place to breathe. Jerry, that elongated spine, either reaching through the crown of your head like you have a string tied to the top of your spine, pulling it up through the top of your head, shoulders down and back. Even if you're laying on the ground, reaching one direction with the tippy toes, the other direction with the top of the head, pressing those shoulders down and back, maybe into the ground if you're laying there, breathing nice and easy through your nose. Deep inhale. I'd like you to place one hand on your heart and the other hand on your belly. We're going to breathe here. I want you to bring the attention, bring your focus to your breath. The inhale. It's opening up creating space for that oxygen. And as you exhale, 
pushing out all the air. On your breath. One of the waves. Your being. Time to relax. In for in yourself. Deep breath here. In case you've lost it, that nice elongated spine. Find your shoulders in line with your hips. When you're ready, join me in a nice seated forward fold, except we're still sitting up. We're not forward folded yet. So find both sit bones on the ground. Again, your shoulders over your hips, head over your heart. And you place your hands on your thighs or on the ground, whatever is comfortable for you, reaching through the crown of the head, shoulders down and back, find that optimal alignment here. Breathing easy. You can find some pillows or a bolster, something here to help support your body. If you don't have anything, don't worry about it. When you're done with the stretch, you just come right out and find a comfortable position to wait for us. So here we go. Reaching our arms up, up, up on the inhale. Shoulders down and back. Activating those abdominal muscles, bringing the rib cage in. And exhale, relaxing over. No pulling, tugging, just relaxing. Long spine, curving over. Find a comfortable place. Keep breathing. I'll cue, but you can breathe on your own. We're trying to have nice, full, deep breaths. Either resting on our legs, or if you'd like, stretch them out front, and that will help your body as you inhale and exhale. Into the stretch. Go ahead and close your eyes if you'd like. toes, your knees, reaching for the sky. Good. Allowing it to relax forward. 
going to maintain that space between your chin and your chest. as you breathe. Comfortable and there's no pain because there should never be any pain in yoga. Breathing here. Breath. Or bringing your focus back anytime it leaves to your breath. Bring it to your breath. That inhale, the rib cage expanding, your lungs filling with air, and exhale. Relaxing. Full breath here. and slowly using your hands to walk your body back to your nice extended position here. Sitting on our pranayama or the breath work. on my thighs, shoulders down and back. On the inhale, I'm going to reach long through my spine, pressing my sternum and my navel forward. And on my exhale, I'm going to relax. Five full breaths, as long as that feels good to you. Here we go. Palms on the thighs, shoulders down and back, navel and sternum reaching forward. Inhale. Exhale. To hold your inhale for a full count. Here we go. Inhale. Reaching. Hold. Tail. Deep inhale. Shoulder back, pressing the sternum and navel forward. Inhale. Being more and more loose. Inhale. As we stretch further and further. Deep inhale. Shoulder back. Reaching through the crown of the head. Pressing that navel and sternum forward. Exhale, relax. Ready to take a couple breaths here. Also, 
If it's in your practice, feel free to deepen your stretch. This is your chance to pull your body into a nice stretch. Make sure it feels good. No pain, no pain. take a half butterfly so we're pulling one leg in sole of the foot to the inner thigh here extended leg knee and toe facing up towards the sky that's hard for me mine falls to the side but so that's good I'm using these hip muscles and my glutes my abdominal muscles I'm using everything to keep my body in line both seat bones pressing into the ground first we're going to stretch forward and then we're going to stretch over the extended leg here we go arms reaching up 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 inhale here shoulders down and back activate those abdominal muscles bringing that rib cage in and exhale relaxing forward so i'm in between both of my legs Go ahead and adjust a little if you need to as you come down and find a comfortable resting position. Use your bolster, pillows, towel if you need to. Find that good, comfortable stretch. Breathing here. Inhale. Exhale. Focus on those hips. Make sure they're both pressing into the ground. Inhale. There, shoulders in line with the hips. Extended leg facing up towards the sky. Easy, remember, if this isn't easy for you here, just extend that leg forward or out, whatever you need to do. Find your comfortable stretch because wherever your body is, is where you're supposed to be. Remember, yoga is your journey from where you are to where you want to be. Asana, the poses. Breath work, the pranayama. It's not about that mind, body, soul connection. It's about all of those things, all of them. Inhale. From here, we're gonna walk our hands over to the extended leg. So now, our torso is shifting. So bring that focus, because it's gonna be harder to keep this bent knee hip on the ground, pressing into our foundation, toes and knee still facing up top. We have shifted our torso, so we still have our shoulders in line with our hips, but now relaxing over that extended leg. Inhale here. Remember, use your bolsters if you need to. Find your hands here. If this is your stretch, that's fabulous. Find it wherever you are. Breathing here. Exhale. And exhale. release. Let your spine relax. 
try to maintain some space between your chin and your chest. Inhale. body back up to a nice seated position we're gonna I'm gonna switch sides so I can stay facing the camera so now I have the opposite foot the sole of my foot pressing into my inner thigh my extended leg toes knees facing towards the ceiling or the sky find your good alignment alignment wherever your position is we're gonna reach up on our inhale inhale reaching up shoulders down and back activating those abdominal muscles bringing that rib cage in and exhale relaxing forward in the middle in between your hips go ahead and adjust a little bit if you need to Find both hips on the ground and relax into your stretch. Inhale. tightness or tension anywhere. Imagine that that oxygen coming into your body is going straight to that place. Letting that tension and tightness release. ourselves and help our bodies just with our breath and our focus. Pressing firmly into the ground. Bring it to the point. Deep breath here. That extended leg. Adjusting your body if you need to. Focusing on the bent legs, hip pressing into the ground. Your hip. Relaxation. 
close your eyes if you haven't already. Breath here. Pose, take it. This is your yoga. Yoga for you. And anyone can yoga with me. back to your seated position. From here, we're going to do a wide leg forward fold stretch as long as that's in your practice. So again, find your pose. If your legs are here, just open, that's fabulous. Find your stretch. Mine to be, but I danced for 25 years. So find your stretch. Again, toes, knees pointing up towards the sky. Both sit bones pressing firmly into the ground as we stack our shoulders on top of our hips. You place your hands on your thighs or on the ground behind your legs or right in front, wherever you need to find your support. Shoulders down and back. Reaching through that spine, breathing here, sitting nice and tall. Pay attention to your legs. If this is too much of a stretch, bring your legs in just a smidge, just a little bit. Find a comfortable, relaxed, relaxed position because wherever you are, it's going to stretch. We're going to reach our arms up, up, up on the inhale. Bringing those shoulders down and away from the ears. Activating those abdominal muscles, bringing that rib cage in. Exhale, coming forward. Nice and easy. Both hips, both sit bones still pressing into the ground. Breathing here. Inhale. Inhale. Just back to your breath. 
and your body, what it's doing, what it's feeling, exhale. Comfortable, stretch. abdominals active to maintain my alignment with my hips so my legs my toes don't fall forward or backward but at the same time I'm extending through the crown of my head my spine and my back and my shoulders to release in your practice and you'd like to find a deeper stretch now's your moment otherwise take a couple more breaths or come out of the pose nice and easy walking your body up with your hands find what feels good for your body down behind you and scoot your butt backwards that'll help you ease nice and easy help your legs with your hands next we're coming to a nice easy butterfly pose our feet are together the soles of our feet are together the ground to each side. Our hands are on your ankles or your shins or your knees. Remember your feet don't need to be up here. They can be extended wherever your comfortable hip stretches. So find your butterfly. And tall. Shoulders down and back. From here, if you'd like, you may reach your hands up on the inhale, finding space between your shoulders and your ears, bringing that rib cage in by activating those abdominal muscles, and then release and relax forward. Or, if that's not in your practice today, find your hands on your shins or ankles, wherever's comfortable, pressing either the elbows into the knees as you come forward to relax, or if you're not there and your hands are here, just reaching forward with your navel and your sternum, shoulders down and back, find your stretch, find your place, Relax 
relaxation and breathe. On your own time, comfortable stretch. nice and comfortable. Continue. I'm going to inhale. Extending through my spine, shoulders down and back, pressing my navel and chest forward, finding that stretch, that good stretch on my hips and my back. I'm going to relax forward. As you bring out the lungs of that oxygen or air, inhale. breath in when you find it. Exhale. Rolling up nice and easy. come to a comfortable seated position. If not, find your place wherever your body feels good. Legs extended.
ease, you can get on your knees, that's fine too. Have them about hips width apart, pressing firmly the tops of the feet. And when you're here, finding that alignment again, shoulders over the hips, over the knees, head over the heart, shoulders down and back. We're gonna do a little side stretch here. So find your comfortable position. Is extended up or seated like I am. Again, if you want to try this position but it's not so great, put a pillow or a bolster. Help support your knees. Here. Extension through the spine. Exhale, shoulders down and back, activating those abdominal muscles, which brings that rib cage in. Ready, extending the arms. Face between the shoulders, active rib cage, sorry, active abdominals, bringing that rib cage in. Exhale, bringing the hands down. Pressing one hand, the palm of the hand, firmly into the mat or here on your hip if that's where your practice is or where your position is, reaching up, up, up with the opposite arm. Inhale here. Try to keep those shoulders in line with each other as we reach over. Nice and easy. Don't crank the body. We're not forcing anything. We're just reaching out and up, up and out. The shoulders in line with each other, no turning anyway. Pressing that opposite hip into the floor. If you're seated, pressing that opposite knee, leg, top of the foot, whatever, wherever your support is, pressing into the ground as we reach in the opposite direction. One more full breath here, inhale. Exhale, activating those abdominals, bringing that rib cage in, and inhale, reaching up and over. Good, shake those Arms out, move those shoulders around. Whatever's in your practice, whatever feels good for your body. If you're seated and you wanna switch which foot's in front, that's what I just did. Otherwise, find your pose, find your alignment. Here we go. Either pressing the palm into the ground or Finding your support in your body, we're reaching up with the opposite arm. Inhale. Exhale, reaching to the side, up and over, creating a huge arch. Continuing to reach out, out from that shoulder, pressing with that hip or whatever your foundation is in the opposite direction, finding your breath. Placement, finding your stretch. Breath here, as long as it's in your practice, reaching, that, stretching that side body, Exhale, activating those abdominal muscles, making sure your shoulders are in line. Here we go, reaching out, 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 and up. Very nice. Move those shoulders around. We're gonna do a little neck stretch. So go ahead. 
find your position. Join us seated again if you were in a different position. If you'd like, find your comfortable place. Press, elongating that spine. Down into the earth. And on your exhale, bringing your chin to your chest. Nice and easy. It's all right if that thoracic spine curves a little. That's the top of your back with that cervical spine, which is through your neck. Breathing here, nice and easy. Inhale. Finding a little movement on our inhale, bringing it to one side, bringing that ear towards the shoulder, exhale back to the center. And exhale back to the center. Continue breathing with your neck movement. dying. Inhale one direction. Exhale to the center. Inhale the other direction. Exhale to the center. Good. From here, real quick, I'm going to show you a stretch that you can continue on. I apologize. I obviously was not prepared today. I didn't have my cord to plug in my backup battery. But what we're going to do is you're going to bring one ear towards the shoulder. We've done it before in class. Don't bring that shoulder up. It doesn't need to come all the way down. Just find a nice, comfortable stretch here, reaching through the crown of your head. Breathing here. When you're ready, you're going to extend that opposite arm at a low diagonal. From there, with your breath, You'll pull those fingertips back towards the body, flexing that hand. You'll feel that stretch all through your arm into your shoulder. You'll breathe here. If you need to heighten that stretch, you can bring this hand and let gravity, don't pull, just let gravity heighten that stretch for you. Breathing here, take at least three to five full breaths. And then breathe as you release, nice and easy, reaching that arm out, relaxing it. Move the neck around, nice and easy. And then do the other side. Finding your seated, nice and tall spine, shoulders over the hips, reaching that ear towards the shoulder, Breathing here, bringing the opposite arm, reaching in a low diagonal. Breathing here, flexing those fingertips back towards the shoulder, focusing on the shoulders being down and back. Again, if you wanna heighten that stretch, you can bring the hand to the head, just allowing gravity to give you a little bit deeper stretch here. Breathing here, three to five full deep breaths. Then releasing the hands, letting your head find a little movement in your neck. And then if you'd like, you may interlace your fingers, bring them to the base of your skull. And don't pull down on your head. We're gonna under the ears, Lift up like we're lifting our head off of our neck and forward, allowing again gravity to stretch out that neck and spine. Breathing here for three to five full breaths. I apologize about my technical difficulties today. <laughs> I apologize about my not being able to speak clearly. <laughs> Please, I hope you enjoyed. Thank yourself for being here today. 
I thank you for letting me lead you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, we have a sign here, a chalkboard. Someone said we sure could use a lot more love in this world. And I agree. Build each other up. Support each other. Find peace and love. Find your kindness and share that with others. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.